righty, Brain, we've got uh, our 2009 Mini Cooper Clubman. We've got our wheels uh, all set up, our suspension. What's the next step? Well, according to BMW, and we're consulting the Technical Information Service, uh, their official factory manual, we're supposed to start by removing the exhaust system. Hmm. To, to pull the engine and some of the uh, accoutrements of uh, the auto cycle uh, internal combustion engine, I guess we're going to do the exhaust, the gasoline, uh, and try to pull the whole drivetrain, the engine, and transmission? Exactly. We've got to take what we're going to end up doing. They, we start with the exhaust system, then we're going to end up having to drain all the fluids, the, uh, the, the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to remove the front end, uh, disconnect all the wiring, try and again remember where some of this went, we're going to utilize it Okay. Again. So we're going to use our little tag machine to tag some of that wiring. So step one is the exhaust system. According to BMW, and that seems like a good one to start. I think that's fairly easy, and we might not hurt ourselves. Okay. Well, that would be good. I don't want any, uh, any injuries, <laughs> and uh, let's start with something easy. Okay. The exhaust system attaches to the motor right here. Let's see if we can... And a review going down through here. It's in a nice little tunnel. We've got a bracket here that holds it up. And here's a, uh, another bracket. That's a retainer. So this nice uh, flashing. We can probably lose a little weight as well. And here is our, our catalytic converter muffler. Okay, so what's our first step in uh, taking this exhaust off? Well, what we need to do is let's go ahead and drop this head off of here. And we're going to need a uh, 16 millimeters, a little hard to come by. And since we're not reusing this, we're just going to go ahead and use a 5 8 deep socket here so we can go ahead and... Uh, and take that uh, disconnect it from the yeah, engine disconnect it from the uh, from that manifold absolutely all right i'm just going to loosen it right now because there's only two of us and uh we're not quite sure what this thing weighs so i think we're going to take see if we can take some of the center out as well and there's a cross brace that we're going to want to drop down got a 10 millimeter socket and we're just going to go ahead and Got six bolts holding that up. I think that's good. I think we got that drop off where it's still hanging on a little bit. Provide a little support, but we can get it out of there quick if we need to. We'll pry the exhaust system um, loose from the front shock mount with a screwdriver until it's just clear. Then we'll do the same at the rear shock mount for the exhaust system until it comes clear. Be sure you have some way of supporting the weight of the exhaust system. In this case, Brian will just set it on our lift. Then we'll finish removing our cross plate and brace that we began earlier. And work the exhaust system loose from the uh, header on the engine that we'd also loosened earlier and gently lower the exhaust system to the ground. Destin Free Bay. Here it lies in all its glory on the shop floor a uh, 2009 Mini Cooper exhaust system one each. This leaves our uh, heat shield material uh, very lightweight, nice material. It may not make it to eBay. We may have another use for that. We'll remove the screws uh, that hold it in place. And there's a bunch of them. But uh, we'll take those out. And then gently pry the uh, material loose. And lower it to the floor. It's very light and weight. And it reveals a... Uh, a tunnel that goes down the middle of the car that houses our emergency brake system, some electronics, and so forth. We um, really quite need this uh, tunnel. 
Uh, that's one of the reasons we're removing the uh, uh, fire shield is we need a, a route to run cables and conduits uh, from um, the rear of the car where most of our batteries are going to be uh, to the front of the car where the motor and controller and other components are going to be so you'll find you need a area to run cables and you don't want this dangling below the car so this uh, tunnel they've conveniently provided us uh, will work quite well.